Welcome back. The Galo Vault Sessions is a podcast series that explores the biggest catalogue of African music in the world. The series looks at South Africa's rich and complex musical history through the prism of Galo Records, the longest running independent record label in Africa. Galo is home to some of Africa's greatest music legends, including Miriam Makeba, Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, Lucky Dube, Oliver Mtukuzi, Tandi Somazwai, Squatter Camp, and others. Now, this year, they commissioned the podcast series as part of its 95th anniversary. Galo Vault Sessions was researched and produced by Zara Julius of Konjo, a woman-led Pan-African creative research and cultural storytelling agency and is aimed at bringing the stories behind Galo's 95 years to life. She's now joining us via Zoom to tell us more about the Galo Vault Sessions. Zara, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. First of all, let's talk about how the collaboration uh, came about between Galo and uh, Konjo. Yeah, well, so initially Galo was interested in developing a series of articles, long-form articles from, from Konjo um, mm -hmm. to really activate the, the back catalogue of the record label. Um, and at the same time, uh, Konjo had relaunched as a creative agency and we had developed our own podcast series called Talking Drum. And so it, the conversations kind of snowballed. And we realized that, you know, the back catalog really deserves a more nuanced, in-depth kind of exploration mm -hmm. in a way that I think the written format doesn't necessarily allow for. Okay. Let's talk about the series in greater detail. What does it cover? And why is it so important to talk about those topics in the series? Yeah, so the series is a six-part series. Uh, each episode is an hour long. Mm -hmm. uh, we cover topics from Radio Bantu, the limitations of Radio Bantu, what happened when your music wasn't played on Radio Bantu during apartheid. We look at topics such as um, the kind of cultural formation of Afrikanerdom and Afrikaans music and how, um, you know, the Buddha Bond really controlled every aspect of, of cultural life within South Africa. We explore stories from Mamhilda Tlobatla, from the um, Mahotele Queens. And I think the reason why it's really important to produce um, a podcast of this nature mm. is that we don't, I don't think we, we have nuanced enough conversations around our own culture and our own history because we assume that we re already know it, right? Um, mm. We assume that we know everything um, apartheid was about, everything that went down, right? But we don't actually understand the ways in which it really infiltrated culture, what, what did it mean to fashion life and to fashion joy under um, the control of, of an apartheid state. Um, of course, Gallo has a catalogue that goes beyond the limitations of apartheid as well, but it really speaks, I think, to what does black joy really sound like and, and, and um, what are the conditions under which artists and a label were um, trying to put music out there. Sure. Uh, yeah, just one, one last thing about that. I think it's also really important to, you know, consume content about our own culture written by people from the culture. Mm. Uh, often culture about, you know, culture content around Africa just generally is not produced by us. And I think it's really important that we uh, not just complain about that, but also do something about changing that. I suppose culture then, uh, you know, is the bedrock of this series and of these conversations. So what stood out for you uh, when you did the research and what really makes Galo's story relevant to the rest of the world? Yeah, I think in many ways, the sound of Galo is what we identify as the sound of South African music, right? Yes. Because of how successful their artists were. And in that success also came... Um, significant exploitation on, on a global on a global platform. So we thinking about folks like Malcolm McLaren as an example, um, and there's you know multiple kind of scandals around, you know basically um, using using South African artist music um, and allowing that to proliferate on a global stage without the artists on the continent really profiting from that, right? Um, and I think we also don't understand the extent to which you know, say someone like Lucky Dube, he had an incredible reach. Uh, so I think the conversation is already relevant to, to a global audience. Uh, I don't know that we necessarily need to uh, do much work in convincing mm. people. I think South African music and African music more generally is really having um, another incredible moment on, in terms of global music uh, audience and understanding that with this music comes 
deep narrative and deep history that really needs to be explored and appreciated. Yeah. You know, one may be curious to know, uh, you know, why people should dedicate their time to this podcast and uh, what do you want the listeners' main takeaway to be of the podcast? Yeah, of course, it, it is, um, you know, each episode is an hour. Uh, I think the main takeaway really is that there is just so much that we that we that we don't know about ourselves. I think, in, to some degree, um, and as I mentioned earlier, I think it's really important that in South Africa we consume content and we consume narratives that really push us. I think sometimes within South Africa, and maybe this is a hangover from the apartheid era, we like to patronize our audiences and assume that they can't consume nuance and, and, and politically engaged content. And I don't think that that is really the case. I think we have an incredibly engaged audience that is actually hungry for uh, content and storytelling of this nature. Mm -hmm. And I think this uh, podcast really provides an opportunity to not just explore you know, the, the artists that most of us kind of grew up listening to, whether it was through our own musical choices or our parents' musical choices, but um, also understand how does this fit into the greater framework. And also to yeah. hear from folks like Sipo Hatsdex Babuse, to hear from folks like Sipo Sitole, to hear from um, Isilda Tlobatla, Lula Masilela. You know, these, these are icons in our history and we don't really hear from them very often. And I think that really is a pity. And so we're trying to, to do something about that. Let's talk about the makeup or the architecture of, uh, you know, of this podcast. I mean, I understand that each of the six episodes are accompanied by a music session of tracks from the Galo Vault. And you just said that, uh, you know, it's an hour long session. Tell us more about that. Yes, yeah, so each episode is an hour long. So it's kind of a narrative format. So it's kind of a, an, an audio documentary, if you will, uh, with about four to five expert voices from radio veterans like Shadow Twala to the artists that I mentioned, like uh, Sipo Hastex Mabuse. Yeah. And then accompanying each uh, podcast episode, Concho has curated mixes by our, our big network of collaborators across the global south. So it's not just South African DJs and, and vinyl selectors who have rare editions of uh, South African historic music, but also we have uh, selectors from Colombia, as an example, where there's a huge culture of listening to Mbekanga in uh, on the on the Caribbean coast of, of Colombia, something that I think most of us here in South Africa have no idea. But when I was in Colombia, I was listening to Mahatela Queens. So we mm. have um, we have a an incredible mix from from uh, you know from someone uh, from Colombia as well, really kind of looking at how does South African music live a new life in Colombia in a way that is appreciated and not exploited. Mm, mm. So, and so that, people, those yeah. mixes, we, yeah, sure. So those, those we're out of time, unfortunately. Found. We're out of time, unfortunately, Desara. But uh, just uh, quickly, where can people listen to the Galo Vault Session podcast series? Sure. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. The mixes are available on the Concho Mixcloud page as well. And all podcasting platforms, you should be able to find the Galo Vault Session podcast. All right. Zara, it's lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. The, well, the, Valo, the, the, Galo, I beg your pardon, the Galo Vault Sessions is researched and produced by Zara Julius of Conjo, a woman-led Pan-African creative research and cultural storytelling agency. A new episode will be available on the last Thursday of each month up to August, so you can listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple or Google Podcasts. Jay, when we were watching Simunyamara, 